So Peter, what is Lincoln Agritech? Lincoln Agritech is an independent research company owned by Lincoln University, which is uh, New Zealand's only specialist land-based university. And it was established back in about around 1964 uh, by the then Minister of Agriculture who needed to see some more engineering uh, research in agricultural research. And where does your research funding come from? Um, the, about 57% of it comes from long-term government research contracts and the rest comes from the private sector. That might be a company that comes along to us and suggests um, a problem that they have and we do a straight research contract for them. And we also have a business unit which sells irrigation design software called IRICAD, which we sell internationally. So what's your alignment with Lincoln University? So we're owned by Lincoln University 100%. We're a company, a sales rather than a research department. I have an independent board that I report to and we manage our own finances and so we're totally financially independent of the university. And what new developments do you have coming up? We were fortunate enough to get $6 million worth of new funding from MB last year to develop four new projects in the research area. The first one is around understanding groundwater nitrate plumes and lag times. Uh, the second one around understanding um, animal body condition scores. The third one is around understanding fruit and vegetable dry matter content non-invasively and the last one is producer nitrogen fixing mulch film. You mentioned Ericad before, you're quite well known for that in New Zealand. Yes, Ericad's a product that we sell, irrigation design software, we sell that in 75 countries, we've now got it in eight languages and we've got a new thrust going on into China at the moment where we're trying to uh, assist Chinese um, the government and growers to design and install better irrigation systems. So this software is used for designing irrigation systems in vineyards and um, in orchards. So what sectors do you work in? We work primarily in the primary sector. We work with uh, the industrial companies that work in that sector. We work with agricultural companies and we work in the environmental sector. So you mentioned you've done some work in the environment and sensors. What's new on that front? Yeah, there's a, a great new technology where we are trying to understand um, pest control and, and pest numbers. So we've got a, a new project called uh, Print Acquisition for Wildlife Surveillance and it's an ele electronic sensor pad which takes the paw prints and the body prints of different animals and can uh, tell you what species it is and how many there are and that technology can be then, those counts can be boom, beamed back to, uh, to managers. So how would you get your technology out there and used? Uh, so the, our philosophy around getting the technology out is to, is to partner with private sector companies. So that might be through licensing uh, to an existing company or starting a, a startup um, or even licensing to a startup. So a recent example is a company called Certus Bio, which we licensed two uh, technologies to, a lactose uh, sensor for detecting lactose in uh, dairy processing plants and, and a, a, a rapid biological oxygen demand test which normally takes five days which we can do in two hours with this technology. So we try, try to partner with companies to get it out and get it used, use um, capital from other people that are experienced in commercialising technologies and get our technology used in the marketplace. So nitrate sensors? Yes, well we're looking to really understand the fate of nitrates uh, in the environment. One of the big issues with um, farming in New Zealand has been the discharge of nitrates. Um, a lot of knowledge is known around nitrates at the surface but not much known about what happens beneath the root zone. So we're developing a new low cost nitrate sensor which will give us better temporal and spatial um, measurements of the nitrates and a better understanding of how to mitigate those nitrates in the future.